Okay, here we go. All right, now, we got cut off there a moment ago. <coughs> All right, so let's, let's see if we can do this, okay? Now, we went over the columns. Z is the atomic number, chemical name, the number of electrons, the number of protons, neutrons, charge, atomic number, mass number, and then this is, we didn't do that. That is going to be the chemical symbol, such as H for hydrogen. You have a, super, a superscript, which is the mass number, and then the subscript, which is the atomic number. Clear? Now, this is important. This is very important. In chemistry, the atomic number represents the number of protons, correct? Okay. It's the nuclear charge. There's nothing else in the nucleus that causes a charge but the number of protons. The neutrons that are in the nucleus are neutral. So the charge in the nucleus comes from the number of protons, and its charge is called the nuclear charge. Is that fair enough? Okay. This subscript is actually the nuclear charge. We, we call it a charge. Okay. We don't write the plus sign because they're all positive, so we don't write the plus sign. Clear? But when we're writing the individual particle electron, see how you have the charge there? The mass of the electron is zero, correct? Then you have the charge, negative one. The proton, the mass is one, and the charge is plus one. The neutron, the mass is one, and the charge is zero. Do you get that? That's where they come from. So when I write proton, neutron, electron, oftentimes I write them with this type of notation. Clear? Okay, now, Augustina, let's do the very first one. <clears throat> what, you're, you're generally given only two or three, sometimes two pieces of information on every line. What's the first one? Um, for charge, it's positive one. All right, the charge is plus one, okay. And, uh, The symbol? Yeah, the symbol says 7 over 3, um, Li. Yeah. Okay, so the, we can just start, right? This is kind of easy, really, now that you're looking at it. So, 7, the mass number, 3, the atomic number. This also, there's a 3 here. Am I? I'm off one level here. So it's going to be, say this again. Uh, charge is positive one. Plus one. Seven over three. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be seven. seven three. Three. Uh, three there, right? Isn't that Z? What's the name? You need a periodic table. What's the name of this? Lithium. Lithium. Good. Protons? Three, right? Same, same as the atomic number? See the pattern? Z, number of protons, atomic number? All right. Number of neutrons? Four. Four, right, good. And what about the number of electrons? Well, <clears throat> what's the charge of the particle? Plus what? Is it neutral? No. Two. Oh, yeah. It's plus one. Plus oh. one. So what does that mean? Two. two. Oh, plus one. Well, yeah, I, two. I, yeah. Exactly. There's two. Well, try to figure it out and then just simply check. Check your work. I have two negative charges and three positive charges. What's a positive three plus a negative two? Plus one, right? See? Augustina, let's do the next. Uh, let's drop down halfway where you're given different information. Okay. What, what do you got? Um, so protons, it says 18. 
18 protons. Um, 28 neutrons. 28 neutrons. The charge is zero. Okay. Yes? So shall we do it? What's Z going to be? 18. What's the name of this? Argon. Argon. What is the number of protons, the number of electrons? 18. What about the atomic number? 18. What about the mass number? 46. And what about 46 over 18? All right, let's do the last one, Augustina. Go all the way down. What do you got? So, what is the Z? What's Z? What is Z? What's the name of this? You have to have a pretty up-to-date periodic table. No. Well, spell it for me. F-L... F-L... No, wait, never mind. That's not it. It is? Oh, wait, it is. It is. F-L-E-R. F-L-E-R. O-V-I-U. O-V-I-U. M. M. Fluorovium. That's a new one. Yeah, it's one of the new ones, yeah. Well, how many protons? 114, right? And neutrons, 171. And neutrons? 171. What is it? 171. And what about the charge? Zero. And what about the notation? 285 over 114. Easy? Yes. That, that'll be, there's one thing that's a little bit more difficult, but we just did maybe, God, half the chapter. It, it, it's a lot of it is a review. We go through it very quickly. Matter of fact, I start chapter five, like, next week, yeah. Chapter five is a little bit dicey. You've got to get an early start on chapter 5. Chapter, in some textbooks, chapter 4 and 5 are combined, but here they separate them. Chapter 4 is, there's a little bit of nuclear material in it, where in chapter 5 is basically just electrons. Yes? Are we off? Yes?